Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I have already discussed the mathematical intuition of the popular dimensionality reduction technique which is principal component analysis and I have shown you how we can implement principal component analysis in MATLAB on a data set which we have created using some mathematical formula. Now I am going to discuss how we can apply PCA on real data set okay so here i have taken one data set related to weather okay columns input columns are like year month day hour dew point temperature pressure relative humidity wind direction wind speed so all these are weather related features and based on this input features or explanatory variable we need to predict solar radiation at a particular instance okay now this is one problem which you can consider as regression problem maybe but here i am going to discuss how we can apply pca on this so obviously we don't require this solar radiation column okay similarly year month day hour all this will not help us because these are these are time related features and here my only intention is to demonstrate how we can apply pca so what we'll do after importing this data set we will take these six features okay and what i will try to do I will try to group different weathers based on these weather features, okay, right? Now, this will be what dimensional data? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 dimensional data. Now, like mall customer segmentation, we, we cannot easily visualize this particular clustering, right? So, what we will do after applying K-means clustering, we will apply PCA and we will convert this 6-dimensional data to 2-dimensional data and we will try to visualize the same. Okay. So, here is the code. Very simple. Let me discuss step by step. CLC clear all closure winding off as we generally write. Then I am reading the data. Right. So, I will just select this particular part and run evaluate selection and here see my data will come I will double click on the x variable present in workspace and I will be getting my data okay now lots of data analysis or data pre-processing you can do like you can do feature selection like you can understand temperature and solar radiation are highly correlated right all these things you can do explore but I am just uh, trying to show you how you can apply PCA on this data. So I will not go in that pre data pre-processing part in detail. But one thing point to be noted that obviously solar radiation will not be present at night time, right? So what I will do based on this hour column, I will filter, okay? I will take only those data which will be after 6 a.m. and before 6 p.m. Okay, that is we can say in terms of 24 hours format in between 6 to 18. Okay, 6 p.m. means 18, right? So, in between 6 a.m. and 18 uh, hour value, we will take our data set. Rest we will remove. Okay, so what I am doing x equal to x of x dot hour greater than equal to 6 and x dot hour less than equal to 18. Okay, that is only those rows will be taking for which hour value will present in between 6 and 18 and all the columns okay based on row we are applying filtering right so i if i just run this particular selected part see now i will go to x variable you can see on in the hour part it is only in between 6 and 18 okay because after 18 it will night will come okay and before 6 also night is present so that then no solar radiation will come right so this much data pre-processing i have done then see try to understand here what i am doing here actually solar radiation is my output feature which i am not that much interested because here i am trying to do unsupervised clustering algorithm and year month day hour also not required so from fifth column to end this is end column right solar radiation so end minus one we will go that's why i have written data equal to x colon that is all row but fifth column to end minus one column okay so if i just run this particular one what i will be getting see data i will be getting and six features i will be having right now what we will do we will here what i have done here i have taken this y data 
which is basically storing the solar radiation one that is all row and last column but it is not required for the time being i will remove this and then what i am doing this is nothing but as you know a means require feature scaling okay so i am doing feature scaling subtracting mean of that particular column from each data point and then dividing by standard deviation okay right now what i am doing i am converting from table to array because k means inbuilt function takes array data as input not table data okay and then i am applying k means clustering obviously we can use elbow method and try to find out what is the exact k value for this particular experiment but for the demonstration purpose i am taking k value 6 index cluster centers and sum d that is distance okay from the center so i will select this particular part and run evaluate selection and here if i write c i'll be getting cluster centers for my six clusters but see is a six dimensional data we cannot visualize those right so what i am doing i am applying tca on the data see simple code these all are output parameters which i have discussed earlier also applying tca on my data that's all okay data this data what data after applying feature scaling what we are getting okay because pc also require feature scaling which i will be discussing later so let me run this particular part now if i just clear this command window and check the explain variable you can see here for first principal component 41 next one 30 okay so first two component itself it is explaining most of the part of our data okay so what i am doing i am taking only first two components which is stored in score column so pc1 equal to score all rows first column and pc2 equal to score all rows second column okay like i have discussed earlier also and then i am plotting that pc1 and pc2 but here we have used k means right so what i am doing i am passing index position in the g scatter okay so what will happen it will give same color on those data which are belonging to same clusters okay based on this index and as a result we can easily visualize our k means clustering right simple so if i run this whole code see i will be getting beautifully this particular data okay so let us try to understand what is happening so red one is one okay so this is first cluster yellow one is two so this is my second cluster green one is three this is my third cluster this sky blue color is four this is my fourth cluster blue color is five this is my fifth cluster and sixth one is purple this is my sixth cluster but you can see that clusters are almost overlapped all the clusters so it might possible that actually there is k value only one there is not that much difference in between individual clusters that's why the overlapping is happening but here we are not considering k means part what i want to show you let's see k means here we are applying k value as 6 now 6 dimensional data we cannot visualize so what we are doing after applying k means we are applying pca and reducing the dimension and we are visualizing the two dimensional data right so this is the power of pca and this is how you can apply pca on real da real data set now many times what might be required that first you apply pca and then pass via k means that depends on use case here i have applied k means and i cannot show you the clustering on our six dimensional data the visualization part i cannot show you so i am reducing the dimension using pca and showing right as simple as that so i hope you have understood this the same code i'll be posting in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can check there and this is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and comment. Subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos. Thank you for watching.